He's digging. I like it. Man, I love these fishing rods so much. Uh, he's still 12 feet down there. Wow. They fight so hard in the rivers, too. River rats. I'm uh, out here in what is essentially the big river version of a washing machine and came down here to pre-fish for a tournament where I was hoping having a jet and a small water boat would be an advantage because we could tuck in behind, you know, backwaters and stuff. Not the case, but we're going to try to do our best anyway. So let's go. Yeah, came down. I was really excited to fish this tournament. The first tournament I've ever fished out of my own boat. We, uh, we're pre-fishing, technically, at the moment, and we will be for a little while. But this, this pool uh, has a bunch of backwaters, and I was thinking my boat might be advantageous where we could get to places other boats can't get to. But unfortunately, the water's really, really low, and there's just nothing in the backwaters. We fished the heck out of them with barely a bite. We're out here in the main channel where everybody's gonna be. And we're trying different stuff. We caught a few fish, but we have we found a spot, but we haven't put together a pattern for sure. So we're gonna keep chipping away at it. Also have wonderful boat motor problems. So that sucks. It is what it is. How's my creek chub look? Well, he's pretty happy. He's happier than I wanted him to be. But then again, if he's not, I'm not reeling in a fish, he might as well be happy. Well, you want to pull the trolley motor? Yes, sir. We'll see if uh, it'll actually run. She starts. What's she gonna do? Is she gonna beep at me? Yep. literally nothing better than a boat motor that runs and nothing worse than one that doesn't. Might as well go fish the next wing dike and start thinking about our options. Starting to think about who's going to pick us up. I feel like it's going to snap out of it because it has. I don't know. It kind of sucks right now. We'll uh, drive around with the trolling motor for a little bit. So, hit this one wing dike and then start heading back. We'll be a lot closer to health possibilities. You know what? Actually, let's skip this one. Let's start making our way. Okay. We got some good old uh, amped lithium batteries taking us to the promised land, hopefully. I suppose if there's ever a set of batteries that's gonna get us back to camp, it's probably those. We're going, we're going 1.2 to 1.5 at six and a half. Bumper up to seven. Wind helps us a little bit. Yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll hopefully be back to camp in like four hours. <laughs> Probably hit a few spots on the way. We'll see how it works. Wow, he laid it over. 
even even if we don't get this fish in, I think this establishes a pattern. I bet I bet he's fitting in with what we've caught already. We're still ways out. How far is that one out? 68. So this one's 50, 49 now. I think, I think I'm under it. He's just a lot of weight, man. Like there's gonna be a battle at the boat. You can put it down. Yeah, it's fine. That was pretty neat, bud. All without a functioning outboard. Okay. You just want that into that drift sock, don't you? I just kind of more want to see what you are. Flathead. I think. What? Tanner. Yep. Flathead. Yep. You can extend that net another deal. Man, he just laid it over. Lift, there you go. Yeah, I'll take this, you got one going behind you. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll take him on tournament day too. He's fitting in with him chance, but I like how he hit it. Yeah, I appreciate when they lay it over like that because then usually they're hooked nice in the corner like this one is. Not an ideal position, but that's a pretty ideal fish. We'll take five of them on Saturday, just like them. Uh, hopefully with a fully functioning outboard, but I don't know. I mean, we're gonna keep pecking away and figure things out. And I'm, I'm fortunate I know a few people around here can help me out. Not that I like to inconvenience them, but you know, I like it when my everything works and that's not always the case regardless of what you have. So just lucky I got buddies to help me out, but sure does make passing the time a lot easier when you're catching stuff like that. Good spot, Corey. I like it. Stay hungry. Yep. Hopefully see, uh, see you in a few days. There he goes. See it? Biggest flathead so far. Biggest flathead so far. Said we need a flathead, but I was imagining one about three times that big, but I ain't complaining about him. Ah, dang it. I got one going right now. I'm gonna get this away from him. We confirm there's fish here. We're definitely not the only ones who know there's fish here. Well, he took the bait anyway, so it's fine. We're going to go check out a few more spots and keep progressing back to camp. I have not caught a flathead on a live bait yet, have we? Or is that little, little one on a live bait? That little, little one I had. One of my ones on a live bait. Yeah. Three flatheads, two of them on cut bait, one on live bait. Ooh, somebody took my creek chub. A lot of stuff down there. Once you find the stuff, there's a lot of stuff. All right, we're gonna go try to find some more stuff and think about it. We'll have plenty of time to think about it while we're troller motoring up there. Well, regardless of what happens here, we're probably done fishing wing dikes because we need a plan B. We have plan A. But, you know, sometimes plan A doesn't work out, especially because the water is going to be dropping quite a bit when we're here on Saturday, or it's supposed to be. And even if it isn't, fish move. So we need other options. But at least we have something. Not a lot, but we have something. Do you drop it? Yeah. I think he did. Nope. Yeah, he ran at us. He ain't even bad. He had one pop it pretty good. They all feel good on this these rods though. Thought he missed it and here we are. I don't know what it is. Chan. Take it. Alright, another viable option. Wing dikes. 
scoop him. Scoop him. You can still scoop him. There you go. All right, cool. It's probably like a five or six. Man, this makes a guy feel good. Everything changes tournament day. It's crazy how much it changes tournament day, but I sure do like today. On this, where we're at, Channel Cat Flyhead Tournament. Caught channels, caught some flyheads. Would have weighed good. Yeah, not, nothing to complain about. No. It was weird, like he hit it, popped it once, popped it twice. And I'm like, is he there? Nope. And then reeled down a little more and it wiggled. I'm like, yeah, maybe he is. And then here we are. Ugh. Okay. I'd feel a lot better if there was more than one way to catch fish. It all seems to revolve around what we're doing right now, at least that we're aware of. Unless Corey's been holding out on me. Is that a fish? Yes, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Corey said this one was bouncing. There's something on here. Little flathead? Gotta be. Oh, a tiny flathead. Yes! <laughs> caught my twin. Yeah, he's definitely fitting in. I wonder if he's... A fat little belly on that one. I know. <laughs> is he fat because of the bait he ate, or is he just fat? That's quite adorable. <laughs> All right, buddy. I hope you uh, get to be 80 pounds. Oh, there he jets down. That makes me feel good. Monsters only. That's what I'm all about. All right, we are, hopefully, we'll be heading back to camp with a fully functioning outboard. So it works like it was earlier, it shouldn't be a problem. Fingers crossed. Because there's fish nuggets at the end of that. Well, I wasn't sure if we were going to make it, but we, we made it. And that's what really matters. I don't know. Boat motor problems are going to happen regardless, but they sure do seem to happen at inopportune times, but there's no good time. So that, you know, there's that. But we have fish to fry. Can't have a fish fry without fish. Anybody who can, anybody who can pull off a fish fry without fish is more of a man than I'll ever be. All right, we're going to get that moving. This is camp for this evening. And who knows what tomorrow will bring. Got the spoils of our labors right here. Got a bait tank we're not using, so that's going to be a table. And we even got a chair. Pretty high class in it today. I don't know. It's all around pretty positive enhancement of the situation. But I do need to I'm gonna chunk these guys up. Maybe even rinse them off. We'll see. We got them diced up, cubed up. About to get them franked up. And we'll add a little more. Okay. A little dirt in there. Not too bad. Be definitely be bolstering the immune system for this 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 round of fish. Let them do their thing right there. Need a skillet. Skillet check. That's, that's some gunk on it. Yeah, that definitely needs uh, re-seasoned. It's only moderately seasoned to begin with. Maybe it'll get us by for now. Mm, there's no, no juice in there. Let's get some uh, the other juice in there. It's not level, as you can tell. Hopefully we can make it work either way. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna put too many in there. 
We'll start with three. Then we'll add more as necessary. Looking in the bag, it needs more breading, unfortunately. Gonna have to get more. We're cooking. Not a bad way to be. That got crispy really fast. Well, I saved one piece for the end, not because I meant to, just because it worked out that way, but we got a big pile of fish and I've reached that point of, I'm pretty hungry. Yep, that's done, right there. Wonder what'll happen if I throw a tortilla in there. I'm gonna find out. It's wiggling. Will you become a tortilla chip? I'm trying to. But that's actually going to be quite delicious and unhealthy. <laughs> the grease be dripping. Do you want one of these, Corey? I'll try one. Sure you want your arteries clogged like that? <laughs> Not sure I can recommend it. I guarantee, guarantee a cardiologist would. Well, good stuff is a happening. I think that's the end of it. Dig that guy out. If I was smart, I'd let it cool down. We'll see. Ooh, that's hot. Put that on my own plate, let it cool down. I might even put cheese on it. You got shredded cheese, don't you? Got a little Franks on there. Okay, I can dig that. They have borderline fish tacos. They are 100% awesome, I will say that. The only thing left to do is eat some food, listen to the cubs, and hopefully catch fish tonight. We'll see, I like this spot. Current's low, so there's not much current. Or water's low, so there's not much current, but there's plenty of current here, so. I don't know. I don't know nothing about fishing over on this type area, and we're gonna give her a rip. Kind of excited to see what happens. Definitely excited to eat these. See you in a little bit. Corey has a dinosaur. Mm, no, that's a catfish. Huh. Thought for sure you were a gar. Like every other bite we've had. Mm, grippies are to your left if you want to go that route. I think I'm going to go to bed after this. That's what I was slowly on my way to. You were snoring. And, uh, I was quickly on my way. <laughs> I think they'd be mad if we, you know, took a rack of channel cats and ate them. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool in a tournament? He's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice fat belly. All right, going to bed. Wake me up if something cool happens. Well, pretty solid view to wake up to. I don't know, what are we gonna do, I suppose? Try some of these wing dikes. Just see if the other fish on them up here. And I kinda wanna try those pylons. I mean, we're right here. What's a cool camping spot? It'd be cooler if I had more firewood. Oh yeah, talon. <laughs> you lift them talons up. It's hanging off. There you go. Ugh. 
All right, let's see if we can find something slightly different. Man, I love how we have a pattern, like literally catching fish at almost every wing dike. My only complaint is we don't have anything else. But it's better to have one thing than no things. He's digging, I like it. Man, I love these fishing rods so much. Uh, he's still 12 feet down there, wow. They fight so hard in the rivers, too. Yep, swim up here. Okay, we're about to see him. Little flathead. Yep, there we go. I mean, if we're gonna catch catfish, they might as well be flatheads. Here. And it might as well take three minutes first thing in the morning. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Yep. Nice flathead. Five pounder ish, maybe. I don't know. He would weigh something, so. And that's what we're looking for weight. All right, buddy. See ya. Get my rig out of the net. Is he getting big? Yeah. He didn't hit like he was big. Another little flathead. There we go. Oh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's move inside. I'm curious how far inside we could get them, because if we see everybody hitting these outsides, well, they might leave the insides open. Sweet. You want a picture with your fish? All right. Live long, prosper, see you Saturday. Hopefully that'd be one we'd be coaling, hopefully. Yeah. I wonder if these are gar, like we moved Further in, slower current, a lot more nibs. Or I wonder if he's on there and just running to the side because it was slack. That was weird. Maybe I just don't know anything. I'm gonna name this spot Nibs though. It's not very flathead like. Well, who knows? pretty bouncy though I just want to know what you are at this point in time acting like a gar prove me wrong pull it down buddy Is it in a snag or is he just big? He pulled me into a snag. <laughs> what I think happened was a gar picked up the bait, toted it around all over the place without actually eating it, and dropped it once it ran into a snag. So I don't feel any life on the end of it. She came out. Cool. Yep. That was exactly what happened. Not a gar. <laughs> well, he's running, I think. Maybe it is a gar. I hope he didn't come off. Yeah, I don't think so. But he is running right at us. Oh, it's a gar. Ah, <laughs> uh, dinosaur. Oh, that was kind of cool. You 
might do another one. I think that means we're moving, Corey. <laughs> the hook just came out. Perfect. Yep. Just a cool, cool fish. We are not in a gar tournament. But I do appreciate the long nose and their fight, man. All right, we might just make this quick or try to. All right, I got the grips on them. Even with the grips, this is going to be hairy. <laughs> what a monster. All right. That was pretty neat. Not the funnest to hold. Scary. <laughs> Easy. So I'm going to get him in the water as quick as possible. <laughs> See ya. Man. Everything about him is mean. Mean teeth, mean attitude, mean scales. No good way to hold them. Corey, if I was a fish, I like to think I'd be a gar. River Rats, we have reached the end of our pre-fishing and I'm glad we have a plan. I wish we had more of a backup plan, but we have something and for that I'm pretty grateful. But gotta go get my boat worked on, found some parts, hopefully, and be ready for tournament day. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen, but hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate the heck out of you taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.